Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you all how to install FSR 3.1 and frame generation into Black Myth Wukong on the Steam Deck using a free to download mod as well as installing another mod for making our aspect ratio 16 by 10 and I'll be guiding you step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible. From desktop mode, access your web browser and we want to go over to DLSS Enabler's GitHub page. Scroll down to releases and scroll down again until you find the DLSS Enabler setup.exe. Download this to your downloads folder and we want to right click on the setup and add to Steam. While we're here, right click create new folder and we want to call this DLSS and we can bring up our Steam keyboard with the Steam button and X. Access your Steam library and with our Steam keyboard we want to search for DLSS. Find the DLSS enabler setup and we want to click the cog symbol, properties, come over to compatibility and we want to assign Proton Experimental and close the window. Press play on DLSS enabler setup and once the setup loads we will notice our trackpad no longer works. Simply hold the Steam button to activate this again. Accept the agreement, press next and next again. Here we want to select browse, access the Z drive, select home, deck and access downloads where our DLSS folder is located and press OK followed by next. Here we'll be presented with a series of choices and we want to make sure that version.dll is selected followed by enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Make sure both of these are selected as shown and then press next followed by install. Now once the installer finishes we will get an error message. Simply click on this and press OK. Uncheck the readme and press finish. Go back to Steam and access Black Myth Wukong, choose the cog symbol, manage and browse local files to be taken to the main installation directory for the game. From here we want to select Engine, Plugins, Runtime, Nvidia, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64 and in here we want to make sure we right click on the top file and copy NVNGX DLSS, not NVNGX DLSSD. Once you've got this file copied, go back to Black Myth Wukong, B1, Binaries, Win64, and in here you'll see a few files. I've copied the mod before, so that's why you're seeing all of these files now, so don't worry about that. Right click and paste the NVNGX DLSS file. Go back to your downloads folder and access your DLSS folder. In here you'll find all of the files for the mod to work which have just been installed earlier. Highlight all of these, right click and copy. Come back to your Black Myth Wukong folder and we want to right click and paste all of these items. I'll be writing into and overwriting as I've installed this before. So your folder should now look like this. And what we want to do is find nvngx.dll. Right click and delete. Now with our nvngx DLSS file, right click, copy, right click, paste. And we'll be asked to rename the file. Simply grab DLSS and the underscore, press the Steam and X button, backspace, enter and close the keyboard. Once those tasks are complete come back over to your web browser and access the Wukong tweak link that I have listed in the description and we want to download the latest version here Wukong tweak 0.85. Access the zip file and we want to extract this into our downloads folder like so. Go inside the Wukong tweak folder B1 binaries Win64. Grab all four files and copy. 
come back over to your B1 Binaries Win64 Black Myth Wukong folder and we want to right click and paste here on an empty space. Once those tasks are all complete, go back to Black Myth Wukong in Steam and click the cog symbol, properties, and we want to make sure our launch command is exactly as shown. Wind deal overrides equals quotation mark d sound comma version equals n comma b quotation mark space percentage sign command percentage sign. Make sure this is typed exactly as shown, otherwise the mods will not work. Once that's done, close Steam and go back to gaming mode. Once we load the game, come over to the graphics settings and in our super resolution sampling, we'll now see DLSS available, which is actually FSR 3.1. Make sure this is selected, frame generation, and I'm going to be using the low preset just to maximize FPS for the moment, and you can change and tailor this to your own preferences. I'm going to set super resolution to 45, which is performance. You can move this up to 57, which is balanced, and above is quality. Apply the changes and come back over to display. Make sure you're set to borderless for display, automatic for aspect ratio, and you should be getting 800p with no black bars like me. Frame rate cap off, V-Sync off, and motion blur off. Now we're back in game, you will notice that your FPS is much higher than usual, thanks to the DLSS mod which is FSR 3.1 and frame generation in action. Also, we'll see that we no longer have any black bars on screen, thanks to the 800p Wukong tweak. If you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, please give me a like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.